have you always lived in Carnesville, Georgia? Yes. Okay. How did your family end up living in this area? Um, family. My dad's from Hart County. My mom's from Stevens County, and they kind of met in the middle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's where I've been. Yeah. So, um, have you always been in the same location in Carnesville, or no? Um, no. Actually, I was in born and raised in Martin with a Martin address, but it's technically Carnesville. Okay. I was gonna say I don't know yeah. Martin, but yeah, part of it's in Frank County. Part of it's in. Um, Stevens County. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've driven Anybody through. Anybody ask me where's where I'm from? Carnesville. Carnesville is yeah. the easiest way yeah. to say. Exactly. Yeah, that's easy. Just go over what type of home we live in. Right now, I live in a single um, brick ranch um, in Greenville, and we've been there for about eleven years, I think. Um, but could you tell me what kind of home you live in? It's a, a brick ranch. Is it? Um, oh yes, single. Uh, single family. Have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? We have not. Okay. Um, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision or was it made for you? It's never been a question. Like, it's never come up. Mm-hmm. So has it? It's never been really offered, or right. have you seen it in the community at all? I haven't. I actually I don't know anybody with solar roof. Um, I mean, I've seen seen articles or whatever about it. I really don't know anything about it. Don't know the benefit of it. Mm -hmm. Would you, if it was available, want solar? Tell me why you would or would not want solar. If there's a benefit, I mean. Yeah, I would definitely be interested in hearing about that. But like I said, I don't know anything about yeah. it. <laughs> now, what would you consider a benefit? Like, what would you, what would, what would kind of tempt you to kind of be interested in that? Is it? Um, of course, electricity bills. <laughs> um, and we farm. I mean, you know, we have a boiler farm. You know, I don't know if it's. I don't know the benefits of it. Um, mm -hmm. Does it benefit a farm? You're right. Know, Gosh, I don't know. You, yeah. ask, you ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the questions to ask. <laughs> so, can I ask what type of, like, farm? Is it, is it part of your business? Like, is it part of, um, is it something you do for y'all's uh, business for y'all? Yes, for that's family what my business? husband does. Okay. Yes. Um, and so, possibly if it was something that benefited um, the electricity bill or maybe, mm -hmm. you know, some other type of, Bill, like water, I don't know if it would, yeah. um, something that would help him or with the crops or yeah. something like that. We we have a poultry farm, a broiler farm, and then with eight houses and then, of course, a cattle farm and hay farm. But, you know, we, you know, there's a good bit of land, 235 acres. Is there something? I don't know. I mean. Could you put solar on the, yes, the land? exactly. Or solar on the the chicken houses, right. you know, all that yeah. rooftop that's yeah. there. Um, and I don't know a lot about um, broilers. Never heard of that. But <laughs> um, <laughs> but is there, you know, how much power does that those houses mm -hmm. need? So would it help save on that? Yes. You know, kind of, those are kind of, I don't know the answers to that. But if that helps, right. you know, right. what that might mean for y'all's farm. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, could you tell me why you would not want solar? Like, if it was it just not a benefit, or is there any specific reasons that you could associate with not wanting it? Yeah, I mean, if if there's no benefit to us, or I mean, why would I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why would I go to the mm -hmm. expense? Or now, on your um, home, how do you feel about it? The way it. Um, if you've seen some rooftop panels, how do you feel about the way it looks on your home versus like on your land? Like the solar, the solar. Panel. I've never seen, never seen solar. It. I mean, I can imagine how it looks, but yeah, that's not curb appeal. <laughs> yeah. Would that be a particular oh, yeah. a reason why if you had to yeah, put it on the front sure. of your house versus like the back of your house? I don't sure. Know. Um, does your, um, house, your home have a lot of trees near it? 
There's a few. Okay. Would would that be something that would come into play? Like, if you had to cut down your trees, would you still want solar? If if it yeah, I would I would not want to cut the trees down? Right. Yeah. Because of their beauty or the shade, any particular reason why, or the, the cost of cutting them down? Not the cost, but the the just the age, the type of trees, pecans, peach oh, trees. I mean, beautiful. Yeah, it's been there hundreds of years. So right, it's, it's an old family farm. Yeah, so it kind of mess with the yeah. integrity of your property. Right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Versus also if you had some acreage in the back of your land where you could have a solar farm, right. let's say that exactly. wouldn't that'd be more appealing aesthetically because mm-hmm. it'd be out of sight from exactly the the, the home itself, the home place right. or. Um, so was that your your husband's uh, family's place that y'all yes. are living in? Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. He and I have only been married two years, um, two and a half years. But um, yes, the farm is um, from his on his mother's side. Yeah. My sister, she just moved into my grandmother's old house, and we were worried. We wanted a family member to stay right. in the home place of where my my aunts and my mom grew up so it is nice right. having and again I think she struggles with you know they want to redo some facets as old as a hundred plus mm-hmm. year old house how do they maintain the integrity of the right. the home itself right. that's a that's a tough one with yeah. living efficiently right because yeah. <laughs> that's a tough yeah. one um all right so we're gonna look at these maps okay. map of the United States Okay, I'd like to talk a bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. Here's a map of the United States. Where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar? Could you draw that on the map? So you can either circle areas or X areas that you feel the people uh, adopt or invest in the most solar. And again, no (laughs) right or wrong answer here. I don't have a clue. (laughs) So you could just... And it's hard looking at states with no names on it, I will tell you. Like, I'm always, like, when I've asked people about certain states, I'm like, I think that's... Um, but do you feel that certain parts of the United States would be more likely to... I do. In, ...invest in it? I do. Um, I may be completely wrong. Yeah, yeah. Can but you yeah. suckle this? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Now, um, what makes that community different from people in Franklin County, let's say these communities here um, in the southwest area of the United States? What makes them different? Yeah. <laughs> why, why, I guess my, my question, why, why this area of the United I States? I don't know. They're just different. <laughs> <laughs> like different in the geography, the type of people. Um, all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> Do you think this area... Um, has you know better weather or just more space or does people have more access to it? Is there um, particular again no <laughs> right or wrong? I, was say, I don't know. I've never thought about it before. <laughs> You're like I didn't think I'd have to come to work today and be asked these questions. <laughs> I know it's it's really, but to, this is what I think is really fascinating about this study is that. A lot of people don't know about it, and that's exactly. okay. And that's not because it's... Now you've got me interested. Yeah, right? <laughs> now it's just like, we I, we don't know a lot. It's not communicated a lot to... Right, exactly. It's not out there. To it's everyday not. people that right. are just customers of their co-op or their electricity company. Right. So, yeah. like that's, that's what I said. I don't know a lot about it, so you definitely don't have any right or wrong answers. So, um I don't know. I can't answer why I think that. I don't know why. Yeah, that's fine. Just um, the feeling you have, yeah, just that just area. <laughs> so let's just kind of imagine what kind of people live in these communities that are adopting it. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Is, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Do you think it um, requires, like, more money? Do you think the higher income people in these communities, or do you think all levels uh, might be adopting it? Um. Yeah, I think I think I'd probably get higher income. I would imagine just because the cost of installation or that I know nothing about. Right. But yeah. Now that you mention it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think people that live in these communities that would adopt it 
would own, like, live in apartments or own homes, like, their own rooftops. Like, they could have the right to do whatever they wanted on their rooftop. Probably own Um, owners, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Or farms. Farmers. Yeah. There's a lot of agriculture out there, Um, especially, I know, California. Exactly. And that that really, California really comes to mind. Yeah, just because the agricultural mm-hmm. and, like, yeah. the landscape, like, the Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Now, um, sort of related, um, with here in Livonia, do you see the solar farms? Have you seen any of the solar farms here? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like when you enter Livonia coming from, maybe, like, that two exits before, well, I don't know what the name of it is. Anyway, there's some solar farms that they've recently put. I have seen them, and I I can't recall exactly where. Yeah. And I know at one point there was talk about putting one um, on 59 between Carnesville and Livonia, but I guess it never came to fruition, but I I just, I couldn't tell you exactly where, but I know I've seen Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, I just, um, some people have talked about They've seen more of the solar farm, or mm-hmm. you know, they're not like acres and acres, but they're right. like little right. more recently here in the community. Okay. Um, and I didn't, and I'd never noticed it until somebody told me about it, and then I passed it, and I was like, yeah. Well, there you go, that's exactly what's interesting. So, you don't know like how many are here? Mm-mm. I know people told me two, somebody told me two. This is hearsay because mm-hmm. I haven't checked. and the exit, you hit this exit that I went on. They talked about a Texas roadhouse being built, mm-hmm. but then somebody told me they were going to put a solar farm there. Hmm. I have no idea. So, anyway, I'm just like, oh, I've just been to some of these community events and people are asking me questions. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I hear it's a Texas roadhouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. People have been like, what? They're not going to put the Texas Roadhouse? <laughs> we really want that Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, we really want that. Yeah, it's a good restaurant. Um, anyway, yeah. So it's, it's just really interesting. Um, all right. So we'll maybe, let's see. We're going to try the map of Georgia. All right, I'm going to ask you the same thing. Um, in what community in Georgia do you think people have adopted the most solar? And you can circle areas or. I mean, there's probably, if, if Franklin County has two farms, I, I don't know of any homes with a solar roof. Um, but if little Franklin County has two <laughs> farms, I'm going to say. Okay. I could, see, I could see riding through flat land through there and seeing solar panels. I don't know of any down there, and I travel through there, but um, solar homes, I would say, probably. Mm-hmm. I mean, solar rooftops, maybe. Yeah. So, with this Atlanta area you circled, mm-hmm. what um, makes this community different from Franklin County? Why would they ha- have adopted more, you think? Um, money. Mm-hmm. There, probably higher incomes. Mm-hmm. Allows for it. Yeah. What about people in the South Georgia area you've circled here? I would, I would think, I would just think that you would have more of the solar farms. The more so than the rooftop, like yes. you're saying more residential Roof, here. Exactly. And this is more the solar, like business, yes. the farmer, the larger scale. I gotcha. So what, um, what kind of people live in these communities that have it? Well, it'd have to be somebody that's um, conserving energy and, you know, that, that's concerned with that. Somebody who's uh, concerned about conservation of it, exactly. their resources. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Now, what about the people in these areas here? What are the people, who are the people that are adopting them? Um, people that have some land to do that on and, and sees a benefit and, and, and as well interested yeah. in conserving um, energy and whatever the benefit of the yeah. solar panels are. Are these, these are business, do you think these are like business people, like businesses or more like farmers, bi- like farmers, like farmers with the land. Yeah. Farmers, their own business. I would think. Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar? No. Why do you think they don't? Because they probably know as much as I do about it. So, they just don't know a lot about <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. It's do you feel like that information is accessible to you no. if you wanted to go find out about it? I mean, it? I could. I'm sure I could. Yeah. But it's just not out there ever in my face, mm-hmm. you know, to remind me of or, you know, it's just not... A common thing. Right. So, therefore, it's, I don't think about it. Yeah. So, if, um, let's say it was, I'm just going to give you some scenarios. If it was very affordable and helped on your energy bill, do you think your friends would be interested in it? Sure. Uh, what if you thought it was helped on your energy bill, but it was very expensive? Do you think people Probably would still not. go for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're more concerned with, you think, more reducing their bills more so that's the priority with yeah, I mean, energy if it, bill. If it, I don't know. Well, I mean, I really don't. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> uh, I mean, if there's, you know, cost versus of installation versus, you know, $100 a month on your power bill, you know, who knows? Right. So, I mean, yeah, seeing if, what's, what's that installation cost versus how much is it saving yeah. me every month? consistently yeah. for the next and what's it going to look like on the house so what's the you know yeah i mean all that yeah i mean if your friends are homeowners or if y- yeah. y'all are similar in that sense or you know you know your friends well enough to know that if it was putting big panels on the front of your home right. would that yeah. be you know yeah kind of a deal breaker in a sense yeah very most likely yeah know. so no, that's that's it's an important part mm-hmm. of it for sure um, I personally, we, I wouldn't cut down my trees. Like we have a right. beautiful oak tree. I say that I'll probably like go down the next storm, <laughs> but like it, that would be, it provides right. for me, we feel so, it shades half the house. Right. So that I understand that mm-hmm. aesthetic part. That's a really, that would be really tough for me too. So, and I, like I said, I love my trees. So, yeah. and I appreciate the peach tree and your pecan trees. Yes. Those are beautiful <laughs> things exactly. with your family's home. 